Lunar Table fans, it's time for your studio update. It's a Friday, and uh, so we did a bat rep last night, or the first half of one. It's an amazing game. It's a da -da 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 nail biter. Tyranids versus Guard, all painted. Awesome train here. You can kind of see that. That's all you get to see. Spoilers. Uh, so, but the problem is when I went to process it, every time I put the uh, videos into the um, video pad editor, it only uh, uploaded them as audio. And for the light, I tried everything I could think of to get, and they play on my computer. Like if I double click them, they, you know, play as movies. Everything's great. So I used Snagit. So bottom line is the first part of this, oh boy, you thought it was low quality before. This is going to be Guy, just try and follow along. So anyway, but it is a great game, and I'm going to record it a lot better for the uh, second half of the game. And it is, oh my gosh, this is a wild ride. You wouldn't even believe it. So uh, let me tell you what I got going on. Uh, so anyway, so here's this, here's this game going on here. Uh, I've got my Tau army that's been moved over into this area. Look at how big this Tau army is. It's, <laughs> look, look at all those drones. Uh, this is for sale, by the way. If anybody's interested in it, I'll uh, get a price up. It, the liner notes, just uh, let me know. Um, it's, yeah, you've seen it in the bat reps. It's just absolutely, <laughs> ridiculously awesome. It makes me happy just to look at it. It's easy, easy 4,000 points. Uh, got Necrons on the way. Got a lot of stuff on the way. Very, very exciting. Uh, guy, what else? Um, if you look in Chad's area, you'll see um, uh, basically a clear table back there, and that's good because uh, that guy, that guy is on track. Um, have my Skaven here. Da -da. Also selling these off. It's kind of a little spring cleaning going on here, and uh, yeah, let's go downstairs. Hey guys. I was hoping to see this interaction like in your natural habitat. But John went ahead and just stopped talking. So uh, let's take a look at these awesome figs. Loving this. Okay, so this, this is the, one of the latest additions to it. This one, this one, and this Fantastic. one. Fantastic. This is like a demon's army as that done, has like everything. As in done it. by Anna here. Yeah, she good stuff. Did it quite well. Not, not too bad. Yeah. Thanks, Anna. Mm -hmm. All right, and I got this guy here. Oh my gosh, I'm trying Jared. to place it. Jared, thank you. Um, so anyway, and he's uh, painting up some nids. So uh, very exciting there, got some base coats on. And I uh, can't wait to, to see these guys hit the table. I really should get those flying hive. This is for studio Tyranids, as you probably know. And uh, so what do you have to say, Jared? Well, I love my job so far, and I'm really excited to see these all finished. All right, fantastic. And uh, take a look back here. This is, these are all projects that are advancing. That's, that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, John. John's got a quality control. Every single one of these, meticulously looking over every single figure for, yep. So, yeah. and what we do is we take a large book, like an encyclopedia, so to check assembly, we drop the encyclopedia on the models. And if any of them break, they get sent back. That's how, that's how that works. It's pretty brutal, actually. I just, I just like to, to do this real quick. Okay, look, at, look, at, look at that. <laughs> that's the level of painting. Level of painting. Sevens painting. and sixes. Yeah. Yowza. That is awesome. Yeah. That is quite the project. That makes yeah, me happy. Three bits. Uh, yeah. So here's these gals here, and uh, I think Mason's already explained to the fans what this is all about. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just a lot of green stuff and gray stuff and gray knights and slanish on there. I love I love this one. I don't know why. Just like the like she's got boots on or something. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm loving those boots. Sean's into boots. <laughs> Here we've got some retribution characters coming off the line here. Oh, these are awesome. I love these guys. That is great. So uh, Roberto's going to trade me his retribution army. So 
That's going to be really awesome when that happens. Yep. So, um, so uh, Roberto, come back. He's not doing it. All right. So anyway, uh, got some epic here. So swoosh. Epic uh, 40K, don't see much of this. I have never seen a Thunderhawk. So there's a little tiny Thunderhawk. Pretty exciting. And uh, what else? We got Katie and Alex, heads down. Don't, no eye contact. Um, so uh, they're, they're working on these dwarfs. Mm -hmm. See if we can get in there. Sorry, Alex. It's all right. All right, so uh, I like kind of the, the green and the, the gold, that's a yeah, it's a good combo. Interesting scheme. I'm loving that. So they got the reference material out here. Katie's been uh, subsisting on Rita's. So there, Rita's is good. What are you talking about? So yeah, just uh, some base coats here, but all new dwarfs, man. And this is, uh, oh good, they got metal plates on them. That means they've got BTP premium, best in the world magnetic movement trays available at bluetablestore.com. And uh, yeah, just got a lot of Flames of War over here, which you've already seen. And uh, that's it. That's what I get for coming down here at like five o'clock to do this rather than earlier in the day. So uh, yeah, there you go. All right, folks, uh, just wrapping it up here. So here's some of the, uh, the quote blue nids, as I'm calling it. Uh, here's a finished one. And um, this is our this is our next run of guys, just with base coats. So it's a rust over spray, uh, Vallejo Dark Prussian. Uh, Vallejo uh, Royal Blue is a dry brush on top. Uh, and then you're using uh, lime green, lemon yellow, um, uh, brown sand, and uh, dark sand as your highlighting colors. I've also worked on some whole red. Um, like kind of in the cracks here to give the flesh, you know, not such an overwhelming blue thing. And also uh, working in just a little bit of Warlord purple here and there, like these little ventricle things. So these obviously are not done, but let's take a look at the lineup. Why not? Uh, Turvagon, Moloch, these are just sample figs. Um, I have four old um, Hive Guard here and um, so uh, these, and I, I really like these models. I still think they're very strong. So I'm just kind of throwing them in there just for kicks. Got a Hiro Specs, an Exocrine, which I already showed you. Very excited about this model. Gonna use this as a Tyran Effects with Acid Spray, which is really, as you saw in that game against the Tau, that actually worked pretty good. Um, got another, um, that, that just kept getting louder. So anyway, an, another um, Turvagon and another Moloch. Molochs are awesome, as we're finding out. Uh, we've got a couple of Carnifexes here, so uh, real excited about those. These are very good choice uh, nowadays. And uh, here we've got my answer for Venomthropes. These are from uh, Forge World. They are called Myotic Spores. Now, the normal rules for them is they burst open and like uh, spore mines come out, but I'm using them as venom thropes, and I think they certainly are very suited. I've talked about this before. And from Forge World, these are only $10 each. So the model is like very, very points effective, but uh, apparently you only need really three venom thropes in an army. And uh, I'm certainly finding that to be more than sufficient in an army of 1500 points. So uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Basically, I just need to get a few flying hive tyrants in here and uh, we are we are a go. So uh, I really enjoyed showing this to you because you can kind of see the different stages as they as they form up, you know, and of course a uh, finished product here. And uh, we're very, very excited. All right, folks, I guess that's it. Um, oh, that's like really low. All right, there we go. Uh, I do have a couple specials running, so check the liner notes for those. These are, these are pretty big deals and there's only very limited slots. I only open this up a couple times a year and uh, I am, I am ready. I'm excited. Uh -oh.